Hello, my dear students. Hope you have enjoyed the first unit. First unit is dealing with the art and art forms and everything. And that one, the first you have come across a, a legend of Tilden Spiegel, and after that you have seen a folklore, a folk tale of Chinese folk tale. the boy who drew cats and two poems and one is a poem another was a song right taj mahal of tagore and uh, and michael jackson song it was a wonderful experience right and even if uh, whatever comes in that one we will discuss now we are starting second unit and let's see what is in the second unit and how it goes and how can we deal that one of the thing so uh, be with me stay with me and watch this video carefully whenever when and where you want to you can pause the video and watch it again if you feel like okay stay home and uh, stay safe thank you so much second units begin here just see what are the pictures shown here what are the pictures shown here this is a house boat this is another boat for boat race we are using in kerala and you can see here again that is Eiffel Tower of France of Paris Eiffel Tower This is Eiffel Tower This is a leaning tower of and here it is the pyramids of Egypt Here it is our what our kovalam for tekadi right that is not kovalam it is tekadi and another one is here your favorite in the last class we have discussed about discussed regarding this one this is our taj mahal so these are all situating in different countries and our title says wings and wheels all together what do you understand from this one wings means to fly wheels means to move forward so this all together we can say traveling from one place to another so this unit is basically concentrating on traveling in english language how can you travel ee bhasha padikum engane yatra sadhyamaga we can discuss that this unit is so we can travel through the literature sahityathilude yatra cheyamak english literature lude yatra cheyunadanu so we are we have taken different texts here you can just see here which is the text and we are having the first one is prose part and poetry part we are having as usual the first unit also we were having and here you see a ship wrecked the sailor that is an adventurous story adventurous travel gabriel garcia marquez you might have heard if not we will get acquainted with him we will know something about him next one is little round red house it is a very interesting folk tale we can say and here is a poem from a railway carriage by arl stevenson very interesting poem next one is marvelous travel joshua fernandez a modern poet arl stevenson is very old and it is very modern so every genre of literature the ran of literature 
different branches of literature we are going to familiarize. In the first unit, you have discussed, you have caught in one fable, one legend, one folk tale, one poem like that. Here, an adventurous journey, travelogue, a real one. Here is a comic one. Here is an old poem about regarding travel, railway carriage, and here is a modern poem. So it's a feast. A little text. So let us try to read. We'll go on. And uh, while just telling about travel, whose face is coming to us? Literature. Namal TV Sanjaram. George Kulangara. Sandosh George Kulangara is his full name. He traveled all over the world and he gives us the details about it in the form of a video. And he has written some books also. And in Malayalam literature, we are having a wonderful travelogue writer. Yatra Vivarana Kuridnan, Escape Attacker. Right? So, in Malayalam literature also we are having, so we are going to English literature now. And first one is a very old one that is, now just read this one. Have you heard of Robinson Crusoe? Robinson Crusoe is a character in Daniel Defoe's novel. The Life and Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, published in the year 1919. Very old, right? And here is a short description given here. Now read the following extract from Robinson Crusoe. See, I, poor miserable Robinson Crusoe, being shipwrecked during a dreadful storm, what is shipwrecked? Ship got collapsed during the dreadful storm. Storm means kudun kaatun ullala. Na dikkatal kudun kaatun daga. Kudun kaatun daga. Kappal marunyu ule. Came ashore on this dismal, unfortunate island. He reached an island after the shipwreck, he reached an island, which I call the Island of Despire. And the Despire of one who is completely dejected. There is no hope for any, any good thing. Island of Despire. All the rest of the ship company being drowned. All his company got drowned in the water and myself almost dead. All the rest of the day I spend in afflicting myself under dismal circumstances. All the day I was just telling myself, oh, don't worry, don't worry, be happy. And we have to say now also, that is, even though school is not functioning, everywhere disease is there, corona, corona, that. and you don't lose your confidence. So always what you have to do is afflict myself. At the dismal circumstances I was brought to. I had neither food, house, clothes, no weapon. In that island, he doesn't get neither food, no food, house, clothes, nor weapon. In that pyre, I saw nothing but death for me. Either that I should be devoured by the bees, murdered by savages, or starved to death for want of food. What will happen? If I am staying in this island, that's if I am living in this land of despair, what will happen? 
either that I should be devoured by bees. Murdered by savages, if not, some savages. Or starve to death for want of food. Or I will, without food I will die here. At the approach of night I slept in a tree. During night I slept on a tree. For fear of wild creatures. Why I am sleeping on the tree? If any tiger or lion or some beast are coming, they cannot climb on the tree. But slept soundly though it rained all night. But I slept soundly. No. A sound sleep means deep sleep. Though it rained all night. Even though it is raining, I could sleep well on the tree. Have you uh, read this book? Cartoon books are the short comic, comics are there and everything is there. And if you didn't just see that one, okay, that's the thing that we have to keep in our mind. And we have certain, certain questions are there. What happened to Robinson Crusoe? We know the answer. Because he, his ship got wrecked and reached on an island. Why does he call the island the island of despair? Because there was no hope in that island. So, so before going to in detail about the questions, shall I do one thing? Shall I, shall I show you a short video of Robinson Crusoe? Robinson Crusoe Robinson Crusoe was a very brave young man who loved adventures. When he was 19 years old, he left his home and went on to travel in sea. While traveling, there was a great storm and the ship started to sink. Robinson managed to reach up the land. When he woke up, he found that he was not alone. Oh, little fellow. The little dog was also saved in the storm. Looks like we both are left all alone. Come, let's explore the place. Robinson found the wrecked ship. He took some food, guns, clothing and tools from the ship. He made a tent and lived in it. He erected a wooden cross and carved the day on it. Thereafter, he was able to keep a calendar. Robinson found several kinds of goats and hares which he shot and ate. When he explored the island further, he found melons, apples and lime trees. These fruits will keep me alive. One morning, Help me! Somebody help! That fellow must be in danger! He took out his gun and shot twice. The tribesmen were scared, left the young fellow and ran away. Why did those men try to kill you? We are all tribesmen. But these group of men kill people and eat them. Today they have caught me. What is your name? Uh, uh, we don't have names. Hmm. Since we have met on a Friday, I will call you Friday. At last, I have a human friend. Robinson thought Friday to shoot and eat civilized. They lived happily until one day. Master, there is a ship coming this side. What? A ship coming to this island? We have to be careful. Come on, let's hide and see. Three men got down from the ship. They had two other men with hands tied up. Now, come on, Captain. Give us the keys or we will have to kill you. So what I thought is correct. The pirates have taken the ship. Robinson and Friday waited till the pirates relaxed. Then they attacked them. They shot dead all the pirates. Thank you gentlemen for saving our lives. How did you come to this island? 
Robinson narrated the whole incident. Don't worry, we can now live in my ship. At last, after 28 years, 2 months and 19 days on the island, Robinson was rescued. They all set sail for England. Robinson started his life once again. Friday stayed with him. After many years, the urge for adventures drove Robinson to set again for another voyage. But this time, he had his companion Friday with him. I think now you can explain well what happened to Robinson Crusoe. Why does he call the island the land of despair? What do you think might be the feeling of a man who is alone in a deserted island. We cannot understand that one because we have never been like that one. So think of that question again. What do you think might be the feeling of a man who is alone in a deserted island? And one more question is there. Imagine that you are going to live alone in a deserted island. You are going to be there for a week. You can ask for only five things to live there. What would be, what would they be and why would you ask them? Sit at home, comfortably, and give me the answer in the group. What all things you will take and why? That reason. That is a task and tomorrow we will just discuss, go to the next part that is a shipwrecked sailor. Thank you.